Hi everybody, hey it's Rob at Old Style Classics Baseball Cards coming at you today Monday August 12th 2024 at 5.05 p.m. Hey perfect timing look at that 5.05 oh. anyhow um, welcome to Old Style Classics Baseball Cards thanks for joining me once again <laughs> all right so what we got for you on old style classics baseball cards today that might learn, might lead you to like, subscribe, leave a message, send other people my way who might like this stuff is it's as I say stated yesterday minor league Monday so let's do some more minor league stuff at 166 subscribers so kind of petered out um, <clears throat> anyhow um, Thank you for joining me. Check out my uh, recent videos. I've had some Gypsy Queen stuff and some Heritage stuff that just came out. Then this one will be released. And then I got another one set to release sometime in the middle of the night. All right, folks. So once again, on Minor League Monday, Amateur Monday, Minor League Monday, whatever, we are going to do the isotopes again. Albuquerque isotopes. So here's my mainstream hat the minor league logo there just beautiful beautiful hat once again but don't like the way it fits it's a little too tall on the crown I, for me I don't, I don't know what happened to hats they didn't seem this tall when i was younger but maybe we just have more hair longer hair all right folks so what we are going to do is some minor league monday and the minor league albuquerque isotopes so a couple weeks ago we did the Albuquerque Dukes cards that I had, uh, the early 80s and then the 80s ones. And then last week we did the inaugural season of the Isotopes 2003 set and this is the 2004 set. I also have the 2004 AAA Minor League Baseball um, prospects, but I don't think we'll get to that. Um, I believe I got these ones on baseball card day. Went to a lot of isotopes games when I used to live there. Tons and tons of isotopes games. Love baseball. Oh, please make you please put your setting speed of the videos up to 1.5 or 1.25 if you want me to sound a little more normal. Um, <clears throat> all right, folks. So let's get to it. I uh, had to sit through a long meeting today. Now the card stock on these is pretty flimsy. But there's Isotopes Tracy Woodson manager. So sweet Isotopes logo there. And that looks to be multi-ad sports once again. So I guess that's the manufacturer. But pretty nice looking cards. Kind of the opposite of last year's. Now uh, where we talked about that border. That they did the border without like total borders so this was last week's set and so they kind of did the opposite there's isotopes park for you so heavy border on this side heavy border on that side all right so tracy woodson please stop pause and record uh, if you want to read any of this stuff, card 1 of 36. Wife just got home yeah, a few minutes ago, but she went off to the other room. So maybe she'll pop in and say hi. We'll see. All right, next. Jeff Schwartz, pitching coach. Of course, I'm going to show you the back of all these people because these cards would never be seen by other people. People other than Isotopes fans or people from a, somewhere else that just happened to be there that day or picked one up at the pro shop. Matt Stark, I misspoke last time saying that he was our, one of our players, but he wasn't. He's the hitting coach. So I have a hat like that too with the red bill. Um, but that must be in the other room. 3 of 36. Read about him there. All right trouble where to put these cards folks all right there we go greg harrell 
trainer. Card 436, please check that out. Piedmont, Oklahoma. Woo, there you go, Piedmont. Hey, look at that, people. I got an Albuquerque Isotopes Piedmont back. Old style classic card. <laughs> 20 years old now. All right, that's neat. All right. Chris Aguila, outfielders. Now we're on to players. All right, Reno, Nevada there. Chris. So we'll see if any of these names sound familiar. Anyone who made it up to the show. Chris Chris Ashby, he might have. I remember Chris Ashby. Outfielder. Let's see how many games. Not a lot of home runs for an outfielder. Especially in the high altitude of Albuquerque. And I don't have to tell you guys the whole story again, so this video shouldn't take as long. Matt Blank, pitcher. Oh yeah, I gotta remember, I got the two giant... I got four of the giant cards. Isotopes, like these cards are like literally almost as big as this whole thing here. That they would give out on the day the guys would go up and um, sign autographs. So, what, Edgar Gar... Um, What's the guy from Seattle, the DH in the Hall of Fame? Edgar Martinez? I think I got a couple of his brother signed card and then this other pitcher guy who was giving me a hard time because he was a Cardinals fan and hated the Cubs. And I was wearing Cubs stuff and was just razzing me like I, like, not cool like Bob Gibson did to me. He was just joking around. This guy was like literally pissed that I was wearing Cubs stuff. I'm like, dude, what if you get drafted? I mean, like, what if you get traded to the Cubs? You know, but I don't think he ever became anything, so. All right, here we go. So Ryan Christensen, Mr. Christensen. Oh yeah, and I forgot, I also have the, um, in that picture I showed with me and my friends at the very first game, the opening um, of the stadium, um, they gave out a logo ball commemorating that day, and I have that somewhere, too. All right, Mike Colin, Colangelo, Colangelo, that's right. Now we're, it's coming back to me, folks, Colangelo. All right, 10 of 36, seven minutes in, Mike Flannery pitcher oh wow All right. it may happen folks it might happen hey oh, hi, that's my wife <laughs> me lucky you lucky ducks got to see your little hands walking on in they're moving on up Mike Flannery second all right, people, next, Bryce Flory, pitcher, Bryce Flory. Nice, tough stadium in the background there. Beautiful stadium. If you are into baseball in different stadiums, it's um, one of the top minor league stadiums all the time. And yeah, just beautiful place to go watch a baseball game, folks. A lot of fun. Not very expensive. And um, parking's not a problem. Um, yeah, go have fun. It's a good, it's a cool place. Now they are the Colorado Rockies farm team now, just to let you know. Started off with the Marlins. Dukes used to be with the Dodgers and the Isotopes came to town like Santa Claus. And we're the Marlins farm team, which sucks because I think Andre Dawson went there one time and I didn't know about it because he was working for the Marlins. That would have been cool to meet Andre in Albuquerque. But then they moved back to the Dodgers, but then the Dodgers bought Oklahoma, I think. Oklahoma City team. And then we became the Rockies. Um, which makes sense because both cities are almost exactly the same height, mile high. There's Frankie Grasheski. Grace, Grace, Grace Quee. Looks kind of like Addison Russell. 
anyways, um, so but unfortunately for the Colorado Springs, lost their Triple A team because of that. But I don't think they were able to get a new stadium, so that's probably why they bolted over to Albuquerque. The Rockies, that is. Pete Hartman, pitcher. I think we're going to have some pasta tonight. Huh? Huh? Going to have pasta? Yeah. Kevin Hoopa. Kevin Hoopa, infielder. So still no big names yet. Yeah. That'll do if that's all we got. Check the other cabinet. Sorry, folks. Ben Howard. Pitcher. Guy looked kind of like him, but I don't think that's the guy that was hassling me. Ben Howard. He's another girl that used to go to the country um, dancing. And she was one of these, um, what do you call them? So Ryan Jorgensen. Like a groupie. She was a baseball groupie. Would like always go out there and like try to chase these guys down. She had a thing for uh, baseball players. I think her name was Mitzi. <laughs> <laughs> she used to always talk about these guys. <laughs> like, all right. Nice, nice person though. Michael Nanini, like Panini. A lot of pictures here, folks. Ten and nine record. Yeah. All right, Mike knew, knew. Mike knew. What did he knew? He knew that we we're both starving to death. I didn't eat lunch today, folks. And had just had one of those sausage with cheese McMuffins, the supposedly cheap thing from McDonald's this morning. That's still three ninety for one of those. A large soda. That's all I've had today. I think a few bites of beef jerky and that's it. I'm starving. Drew Niles. So old Niles, California, right up at the street in Fremont. Little neighborhood in Fremont. All kinds of antique shops that sell all these kind of baseball. Well, not, not all of them, but they have some that sell baseball cards and those Wheaties boxes I was talking about and like that Babe Ruth Fairstein. They have stuff like that over there. So old records and Pick me up Ted Nugent record at that place, but I haven't played it yet. <laughs> I bought one Debbie Gibson at her concert autographed, and I haven't even opened it because since we moved to this place, it's kind of hard to get to the record player, and I just don't. Nah, guess not in the mood lately. Drew Niles. I wonder how many Niles he drew. Is that a good one, babe, or no? Uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Even I was disgusted with myself. Kevin Olsen, pitcher. One of the Olsen twins. One of their two dads. Hey, look, he did play for Florida, though. He, got, he made it up to the show for a minute. Matt Paget. You want the whole sausage or just half? Whatever you think, babe. <laughs> These people are like, what are you guys talking about? We got some Johnsonville, or is it, what is it? Hillshire Farm, Asian-style smoked sausage. Yeah, we're going to have that with some spinach and cheese ravioli. I don't really know where they are. They're tortellini. Tortellini, sorry. Bertoli, right? <clears throat> no, Rana. Rana, Rana. Giovanni Rana. Giovanni Rana. Spinach and cheese are really good. Scott Sanders, <clears throat> pitcher. Aaron Small, hey, there's another small card that's kind of a normal size card. Not a big card, not a big small card, but a regular small card, but it's not a small card like a mini card. See, I can do it every time I run into somebody with that name. Aaron Small. But I lost focus, folks. And so did the camera. There you go. 
Larry Sutton. <clears throat> yeah. He's suiting. Oh, honey, you don't know how many big hunks you've missed in the last couple, like the last week. And I'm like, oh, if my wife was here, she would have got to see Frank Thomas. Michael Tejeda. Pitcher. Lots of pitchers. Geez. From Miami. All right. Next. Cards stick together a little bit. Oh, Matt Trainer. Now there's. He was one of our main guys for a while there. Um, I remember him being there for multiple seasons. So I guess that's where it started there. Matt Trainer. Is he? Uh, he might have become one of their head coaches or managers <clears throat> later on. Sorry, folks. I guess I should take a drink. All right. Next, Wilson Valdez. <clears throat> These are nice cards. I mean, not high quality, and so far nobody big. So, no Ricky Henderson, Cal Ripken Jr. minor league card so far. Derek Watton, Lawson, infielder, outfielder, a lot of boys from Florida too, West Palm Beach, oh look we accidentally gave us two, well, that's cool, Derek you out there, alright, and Jason Wood, infielder, so not a, and this might have been one of the years they made the playoffs, but not a lot of names that sound familiar from the big leagues. Alright, <clears throat> 2004 Albuquerque Isotopes team picture. <clears throat> Losing my voice, people. Dang, nab it. Alright, there you can read that. All right, Ken Young, president, got a baseball tie there of some kind. It almost looks crocheted. That's Ken Young. All right, outside view from the street. So where they're taking this picture from, right this way is the pit where the Lobos play basketball and over this way across the street is the football stadium the New Mexico Bowl but that's just beautiful retro futuristic stadium and I forgot to point out like here's a little pro shop right over here that you can go in all year round <clears throat> to check the times and make sure it's not a holiday and then here's the entrance for the club level these like the club seats and all that upper deck so you go in here, and I think in this little area is like the New Mexico Baseball Hall of Fame. And I think this is a stairway, but those are all stained glass uh, windows. So those are cool. And then there's like a walkway around here, and then there's the ticket office. Where I used to sell some tickets every now and then. And get run off by security <laughs> when I had some extras. And um, just beautiful. And then the mountains. Sandia Mountains are way out here, which you could see if you're sitting up here somewhere. Just beautiful stadium. And uh, that baseball used to be there at the Duke Stadium, the Albuquerque Sports Stadium, so they kept that too. The um, only thing I think would make this stadium a little nicer is if they had some fancier light posts. But it's AAA, so it's no big deal. So you can read about this here. Let's see. Yep, they lost 5-3 to Oklahoma that game. I showed you the picture we were at. Postseason. Uh, they made it in the first year. And... No Nate Bump talking about there. So pretty cool. Alright, once again, Orbit, the mascot. I actually uh, got drawn to go out on the field to do some like mini putt to like putt the ball into a you know one of those rollout 
putting greens that they like looks like a rug and I made the putt and I won a pass to go on a hot air balloon ride which Albuquerque is the international capital of hot air balloons because it's like the best place in the world to fly hot air balloons because the mountains and the valley creates this box so I guess the wind blows this way then you go up and it blows that way and then you go down and you just keep doing it and so Albuquerque's famous for that but the pass for was for one person to take a balloon ride so it was like a lost leader <laughs> they expect you to be with somebody else probably and pay for them to go so I never used it so that sucks but oh well he's born in Roswell you know why people because he's one of the crash landing ones alright and isotopes park from the sky at night so beautiful stadium on oh, this is what I was talking about I used to always love to sit right in here so I usually would sit either right here or like right there the walls are so low though the balls would just fly off and hit people and so I didn't like sitting over here and I didn't want to pay for these seats me and my wife when we were dating sat up here that was nice got some pictures of that there's that little berm that little hill that's just like natural up into this hill and you can walk around the whole stadium if you like here's the grass but yeah that's where I used to like to sit and the New Mexico United soccer team plays here this way right now but they're supposed to be getting a new stadium all right folks so there it is that is card 3636 Isotopes Park opened in 2003. Beautiful stadium. And so Oklahoma, I think that's who the Dodgers ended up buying that team. But anyway, so $25 million it looks like. And just beautiful. So nice stuff. Alright folks, so there it is. Thank you for watching me again on minor league monday um, another episode of the isotopes so next time around i also have the 2004 top prospects trading cards for the pacific coast league so it's got different players from all the teams that year i don't know if they're um stamped different or if they just took like a card from one of these sets and added it in there i don't remember but we do have that and then I think the next one I have after that is like 2006. But no rush. I've got these, some hockey cards, some basketball cards for minor leagues and college. And then like Sacramento picked up some cards when we were up there. Hey, look at that. Adam Wayne right, right on the back of that. Memphis Redbirds. So there you go. There's a little, there's a name we all know. Well, at least we got to see one. All right, folks. Well, thank you for joining me, and I'm saying goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.